Okay, I can actually... Hmm, might have to use the straight. Might have to go straight! I forgot I could do that. <laughs> I can take the drive out. <laughs> Just remember, I can take the drive out. I can actually... I could do that. Do I want to do that? I'm gonna need another SATA cable plugged in anyway for the other hard drive, so... Although I... Hold on. I, I just realized, cable management! I can put this through... Yeah, because... This goes straight through in the drive base. Really glad I remembered to put the video card over there now. That would have been embarrassing. There, put that through there. And then this. Ah. Keeps getting heavier as I add more things to it. Science. The components I'm putting in? Hey, Mr. Wong, how you doing? Uh, well, most of the components are actually already in. Racky, welcome, by the way. Um, let's see, what do we got so far? We've got the Maximus 7 Hero motherboard, 16 gigs of RAM, there's a processor under this giant heat sink, power supply, and a 500 gig SSD over there. I've still got this bad boy to put in. My uh, 970, GTX 970. And I'm just hooking up my SSD right now. There. And cable through a little more. Cable management. On this. Turn in there. Well, yeah, why why would I do that if I don't? There. Have that loose for when I put that hard drive back in. Because I'm going to do that over the weekend. There. Cable management stuff. I thought it was kind of silly at first, but uh, seems pretty good. New rig, Mr. Wong, brand new. All of this stuff you see right before you is brand new except for this power supply, which I had lying around, and this heat sink, which I bought for my previous build, uh, but it was actually too big for the case. Okay, so we can put the video card back in. The, where's the CPU fan power? It's bothering me. There it is. Get up there. CPU fan engaged. Yeah. Uh, oh, video card, right, right. What case is that? That is the Corsair Vengeance C70, I believe. There we go. Ah, there it is. Yeah, I keep forgetting the, the thing, yeah. The Vengeance C70. Up. 
the lamp is kind of screwed up. <laughs> but it's a, it's a very nice case. Um, it actually has uh, quick release latches on the top to take off both side panels. Removable screens for, for airflow on the bottom. That's one of the bottom screens. You can just take that out and clean it. If you want to. Uh, it's got a really cool aesthetic. It also has handles on the top, which make it really easy to get out of the box and to carry around if you're into that. And um, it also comes in olive drab because it has a cool military aesthetic. The, uh, the reset button actually has a plastic cover over it. You have to flip it up to hit the reset button, which is kind of silly, but I like it. This is the way I want to go in. Right? Sorry, my head's in the way. <laughs> my big fat head. There. Now the screwing. Want the 9000D? Is that a case? Come on, screws. Screws, please. I don't, video cards always do this. In my experience, when you put in a video card, it never wants to sit just properly. You have to hold it and then screw it, and then it's properly sitting. Everything. showed me so that is oh that's right that's that super expensive case you wanted which is ridiculous we I mean, don't get really wrong it looked cool but like I said this is the this is the most expensive case I've ever bought and I think it was like 120 bucks maybe 130 Come on. Get in there I can leave it with one screw but I don't Why? Why? I'm just gonna keep saying why until you answer me. Piece of hardware. You better work flawlessly out of the box. I'm gonna be pretty mad if this thing doesn't work flawlessly out of the box. Alright. That. So that's basically the system. I still got to put in um, a DVD drive, but I got to pull that out of my other machine. And now, start making connection-y things. Where did my motherboard manual go? There it is. All right, the front I.O. connector. Okay, that's all these power thingies. Where? Now we get there's some fan powers. Plug the fan powers in. Because it's kind of important that your fans actually have power. Otherwise they don't work, it turns out. Where's the IOE shieldy thingies? How much is shipping overseas? It's pretty expensive, especially for handle with care. Um, it really depends on the shipper. I think there are actually services, Jen, that, um, that, well, that's, no, I'm thinking of stuff that's, um, it's not for sale overseas. You can actually get them to buy it for you and then ship it to you rather than actually buy it. I definitely need all this stuff. Oh, don't put that on the motherboard manual because I need to see the motherboard manual to see how these things work. Approximately, I have no idea, dude. I've never done it. Hard of LED, power ground, reset ground, okay. USB connector. Audio. Oh, 
all these dinky little power thingies. That's a fan. Let me get that out of the way for now. There we go. We connect all these things to one of these. That's our switch. Oh, you can't really see this at all. These things are so small. Red LED. And then the power LED positive and negative. Why are they separate? I don't know. Doesn't matter. But this is this is all the stuff that powers your front panel. Which is important. Otherwise your power switch doesn't work. Which I actually found that out one time when I was working on um, I was troubleshooting something on, on the PC that I have now and I totally accidentally disconnected the front power switch. Didn't even realize it until I was like, well now I gotta make sure that it, I didn't blow anything up. Let's make sure it, it powers up and it totally didn't because the power switch was completely off. Not connected to anything. Took me a little while to figure that out too. I was uh, pooping in my pants for a while. Oh, it's 100%, $100 cheaper in the US, damn. Can we use those adapters? I don't have to? I guess I wouldn't have to. I'm gonna use them. <laughs> A lot of higher standard PC building companies are in Britain, really? I did not know that. Hmm. All right. So yeah, all that stuff is marked right on the motherboard. I wouldn't have to use this. It doesn't have an internal speaker. Fine, cover. It... That right there. Front panel is powered. Well, when the whole thing is powered, the front panel will be powered. Now the USB... Oh. USB 3. Need the USB 2 connection. Front panel. Uh... Uh... Alright. <laughs> Need a USB 2 panel. Front panel audio connector. Oh, is that USB 3? Uh, okay. I think this is USB 3 now. But that means the cable has to go up there. Hmm. What is dust coming from? Am I shedding? My skin falling out. Huh. Hey PC, because part prices change so often? Yeah, you gotta keep on top of them if you want to actually get a good value. It's kind of irritating. There's an alternate. Plug that bad boy in now while I'm looking at it. Well, I'm just plug that. Come on. <laughs> My hands are too big. Plug that fan on. Our power. There. I do not want that power cord to get in the way of the fan though. On power cord. Be a team player, power cord. Oop, there's another fan. There's another fan connector. Okay, another one. That's two. There it is. Okay. Oh, there's four. 
Nice. Nice. From so many fans, apparently. I mean, I knew this thing had support for fans. You can mount fans on the on the side panels. You can mount fans pretty much everywhere. Which is convenient if you're not going water cooling. Because water cooling is for crazy people. Again. Uh, all right, so this is USB 3. Okay, I gotta get route that up there, but I can do that because of cable management. Jesus, this I don't remember this thing being this heavy. Oh, sorry, shaking the table. Everything's sitting on the table. Usually I have stuff so it's not on a table. <laughs> oh, I totally forgot about those. There's, there's like brackets and shit. Okay, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be messing with cable management more after the stream apparently. Yeah, those are USB three. Oh, that was the SATA cable slap in the case. So that's why, like, I've I've seen I've seen streamers talking about. What do you mean, Mr. Wong? I'm right here. I've seen streamers talk about um, building their PCs, and then they're like, "Okay, now I gotta spend six hours doing cable management." And I'm like, "Really? Why is why is that?" It's it's clearly because there are a lot of options for cable management that I have never been aware of. There. Okay. There. Oh. The zip ties. Get that. And like y'all. Now the front USB. Are powered. What didn't I buy a 980? Money. <laughs> Pretty much anytime you ask anyone why didn't you buy X, that's gonna be the answer. Money. Which is a good answer. Perfectly legitimate answer. Pull that cable through a little more. All right, I'll, I'll deal with that later. I'll After the stream, I'll do the cable management shuffle, so to speak. Looking good so far? Thank you. Postman. Uh, it's, I still need to, yeah, obviously the, the cable management is still going to be an issue. And I got a lot of power things to plug in. What's this? Oh, I do have an audio helio. I don't know if that goes on there. Nope, that's not where it goes. It goes over there. Makes sense. Get it aligned properly. Aligned properly. Nope. Out there. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Kava. I don't like it seems to think there should be a USB 2 connector somewhere from the case but that's there's nothing else from the front panel that I need to install rear audio connections right right so 
But I think that's everything except the power. Yeah, how to connect to your speakers. Starting up for the first time. BIOS setup. Right. Have to flash the BIOS at some point, I'm sure. Alright, that seems to be it except the power. This bullshit. <laughs> Well, in my capture card. I'm going to have to take the capture card out of the PC that's currently running and put it in here eventually, but I'm not going to do that on stream because that would be bad. Where is this? A USB connector of some sort. I don't know what it's for. Tiny little thing. Well, I'll hang on to it. I don't know what it's for, but I've got it if I want it. So why do I have separate power cables with a video card, I wonder? Okay, so now I'm kind of feeling like I shouldn't wait until later to do cable management because I'm going to be running a lot of power cables right now. Where is main power? Main power, there it is. Main power. Should be, yep. Let me get the X bus crashed. Oh, Mr. Wong, we just put in the video card and we've, we've hooked up a bunch of the power cables to the uh, to the front panels and stuff, so that's all working. And now, I'm going to be hooking up the power connectors for everything else. At least that's the plan. Alright, not doing raid, don't care. Wait, are those? Yeah, those are all six gig. Okay. Oof. I th I thought it was. I thought the motherboard manual here was saying that some of the SATA ports are six gig and some are not. It's like that's not okay. It's that's not okay at all. SP three connector, right? Okay, all the benefits of USB three. Yay. USB two ports. Right, that's for separate, separate USB 2 module, which I don't have. I don't really want. Because one of the reasons I got this motherboard is because of all the USB ports it has. And prostate violator, welcome. So that's okay. That shouldn't be an issue, unless I find that later. Front panel audio that's already plugged in. CPU, chassis, and additional fan connectors. Right, right. Yep. You know, it's only listing three power ports for the for the fans. Weird. Oh no, there's the fourth one. Okay, both ones down there. Why don't I run this? Here. Just for clarity. Get that cable out of the way. That's not running over that. Gotta put the hard drive in the hard drive. Use the hard drive to turn on the hard drive. That's That sounds right to me. ATX power connect. All right, this is what I want. Okay, yeah, that's the main power. What was this little dinky one's for?
The eight pin, okay. So that's the main power and I need to connect an eight pin as well to the motherboard. Kind of odd. 12 volt, okay. Good note, see this is why you read the manuals. When you're, when you're trying not to destroy all your expensive new hardware. I want to make sure I get this plugged in the right way. I'm looking at it. Okay, should be this way, I think. Oh, different size. Oh, well, that's probably what the little dinky part is. For the extra size. Don't need a manual, you know computers well. Well, the first time you burn something down, Jen. You'll be like, oh, if only I'd read the manual like Frank said. And I will laugh at you on stream. Oh, oh no. Manuals are for casuals. Manuals are for people who don't have the money to just be like, oh, I just fried the motherboard. That's okay. I'll just buy another one. Uh, please plug in power cable. Plug in in some configuration. There we go. Ooh. This one. Okay, now I will want to manage that cable at some point, but I need I need an eight pin for the top. Top of the motherboard, twelve volt. Dude, come on! Don't even tell me this power supply doesn't have one. I'm gonna be mad if I have to buy a new power supply. Pins for processor power. Oh, thank you, Abe. Welcome. That is a good note. So I definitely want to plug that in. Because I want my processor to have power. Otherwise, this will be a very useless computer. Oh, oh really? I'm not sure I have an 8 pin. I live to your CPU fries, your motherboard. I will take your word for that, Mr. Violator. Connectors are made to only fit the correct way. What could you do wrong? Well, why don't you find out and then tell me? <laughs> That's a six pin. If I like, if I don't have an eight pin, all right. That's that's a wannabe eight pin. Is that twelve volt? No, that's for PCIe for my video card. Also for my video card. It's the wrong connector for the CPU. Had a positive energy switch and the power supply didn't switch on. Nice. You can use two and four pin? Really? Well, if I could find plenty of those. Control hard drive connectors, which is good. I need those. Oh, CPU one. There it goes. CPU two. Okay. Got it. Price is over. Although this cable isn't long enough for cable management, I'm just gonna have to go over the motherboard. Blue, red is five volt, yellow is twelve volt, black is okay. So this should be Yep, twelve volt, okay. Yay! That's a big heat sink. So... Come on, power cord. I know you haven't really done anything in a long time. It, 
Jesus, that heat sink is reflecting. No, nope, that's wrong. Hooray! CPU has power! Thank you for that, Jeremy. I probably would not have found that. Although it says CPU 1 and 2 on it, so that would have been a stupid thing to miss, but... Best thing about mini-ITX cases, all cables are more than long enough. Yeah, I, I was looking into um, a mini-ITX case at first, actually. Because I was thinking, you know, I, I usually get these giant ass cases and they're kind of a pain in the ass to just lie around because they're huge. But uh, then, you know, the, the the power that I wanted in the motherboards and all that other stuff was like, gotta go ATX, unfortunately. Panel connector is already set. Frog extension. Okay, those are whatever. Yossi panel, front base. Okay, I don't don't have those. PPM connector supports a trusted platform module system. Cores keys, digital certificates, passwords, and data. Well, I don't have one of those. Key sensor. Thermistor cable. That would be good. 